Piers Morgan has hit out at shameful Prince Harry who is not attending the memorial service for his late grandfather, Prince Philip. Harry and Meghan have remained in California with their two children while members of the British royal family descend on Westminster Abbey to honour the late Duke of Edinburgh. In a scathing attack, Piers said, Imagine missing your mentor grandfather's memorial service because you're such a spoiled brat you'd rather sulk in your Californian mansion than be there to support your grandmother? Shameful. Also, Richard Maidley slammed the couple for not making it. Harry and Meghan will not be there because they have concerns about security, Susanna Reid said. Guest Andrew Pierce then added, which is ridiculous, because he will be in the bosom of the royal family today and there will be security people everywhere. He would be completely looked after. Susanna then asked if Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle believe they are more of a target, as she added. Because presumably that's what they argue, is that they feel more at risk if there are other members of the royal family there, including head of state. The Mirror's Kevin Maguire then replied to insist it is the safest place they could be. If they feel it, they feel it but come on, it's going to be the most secure part of London. I was there last night, they've put up the crash barriers. If you're looking for a police officer today, just go around Westminster Abbey, you'll find ranks of them, he added. Richard then chimed in, I couldn't agree more with you. What is he playing at? Moreover, his sister-in-law Samantha Markle said Harry is ridiculous as he can afford security. She told, he should have hired more of his own security, they live a lavish lifestyle, they can afford security, it's ridiculous. Security for a weekend of something is not that expensive and I'm pretty sure they have security now. It would be so easy for him to pay for his own security. Samantha went on to add that it was mind-boggling that Harry would say security issues are preventing him from attending, given the family will have members of their own security as well as that of the European royals. She went on to say, especially now for this memorial and after everything that transpired and Prince Philip seemed to have a rough time in his last days watching the royal family being attacked by Meghan and Harry. Maybe Harry feels bad about that but it seems the least he could do would be to show up, pay respect and try to, if he and Meghan are humanitarians, to show up humbly and pay respects and show some remorse at a minimum. Not to mention the fact, Prince Philip was his grandfather but Harry has been in service, Prince Philip served in World War II, not only to honour him as his grandfather but also a military figure, who is noted for great service is highly disrespectful. To put something as petty as security ahead of the obvious ethical, humane military and royal respect, it doesn't make sense, it's sad. The memorial service will be telecasted at 2.30am to 4.15am local time for Meghan and Harry. However, Harry and Meghan Markle's spokesman has yet to respond to the request whether the royal couple will be watching the service on TV overnight. It's believed that Prince Philip took his final photograph with Harry two years before his passing, following the birth of Harry's firstborn Archie Harrison. Harry and Meghan were joined by the Duke of Edinburgh, the Queen and Meghan's mum, Doria Ragland as they proudly gazed at the newborn baby in Windsor Castle.